Good morning, this is Tan from School of Computing. Today, I'm going to talk about Turing test. Historically, there was an idea of Promethean irreverence, which is an idea that it is impossible to make a thinking machine. However, Alan Matheson Turing presented the question in the very first sentence in his paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, Can Machines Think? He illustrated this question in another form, which is imitation game in his paper. In Turing test, aka imitation game, we put man and woman testers in a single room and an interrogator in another room. They can only communicate by a teleprinter where they can type in their words. Man lies that he is a woman to the interrogator, and woman tries to tell he is telling a lie. Interrogator should guess the gender of X and Y. But what if the man is replaced by machine? This means the machine, which is a man in assumption, will pretend itself to be a woman. Will the interrogator still be confused and get the answer wrong? Turing suggested that if the interrogator got the answer wrong, that means machines can deceive the interrogator, and this became the method to test whether machines could think or not. Majority of people say that machines nowadays will surely pass Turing tests because they are so good at using natural language. So I got curious, what will happen if I carry out Turing test on ChatGPT, a chatbot from OpenAI? When I tried to play the original Turing test, I couldn't carry out that because it is programmed to never deceive anyone. Thus, I decided to distinguish human and ChatGPT in my test. I will call this test to be mini Turing test from now on. I asked three questions to the ChatGPT and another human participant and compared them. Because of the time limitation, I cannot explain you all, but please check my other video. To analyze the results of mini Turing test, I could find ChatGPT talking in the way so like human. I couldn't find any flaw in the response regarding natural use of language. Also, I could see some expressions include possibilities, and ChatGPT seemed to refer to database and not think. Lastly, it was surprising that the logical structure and reasoning resemble human structure a lot. The performance of ChatGPT was in high quality. ChatGPT learned from refined database input by human and connects words based on probabilities. Thus, ChatGPT cannot understand. Whereas humans learn through social interactions and personal experiences and use them to progress information. We learn from unrefined database and we can show flexibility and creativity using experiences from them. Therefore, I thought that the concept of understanding doesn't make sense in machines, but it can show flexible, creative performances even if it doesn't understand something. Since machines are made to benefit mankind, we want them to perform in high quality. Our direction of the development of computing must be making them to perform at a level equal to the human performance, and this is called the moment of singularity. Therefore, I decided to make a new Turing test to make machines beneficial to human. To reach the goal, we should ask, is machines benefit to mankind? Do machines make the same decisions as humans? Or even do machines make better decisions than humans? To get answers to these questions, we need methodologies. We should compare the logical similarities of the answers from machines and humans, and we, can, we should compare the properties of the answers from machines and humans. Safety, cost, creativity, and feasibility must be tested. These tested properties can change depending on what we want the machines to do. So this is end of my presentation, and if you have any questions, please ask me or send an email via this address. Thank you.